Hey guys, this is the last video that I will post up for this case. Um, it is the 100% case log that I've done. Um, everything is done and I don't need to change anything else. Um, this has cost me so much to do. You know, I've, I've done my um, motherboard, graphics card, RAM, uh, new case, all the, the windows. and so, yeah, so this is the last update um, and I'll show you what I've done. Um, since the last video, I put a window in the side, as you can see. So now I can see all the green inside. I can see um, all my hardware. I've also put a Perspex cover on the back where the power supply used to be. I've also put a Perspex cover that goes from the DVD drive down to the power supply. And that is all I think. Now I will pop you off this tripod and I will show you the inside of the case. Now please note, this is on my webcam. But the, the image quality is a lot better than my actual than my video camera. So yeah, so it's it's either I have shit sound or I have better um, better video, which shows um, because that's really what you're here to do. So I'll just pause you for a second and I'll get the case off for you. Get the side panel off for me. And just quickly, here is the window that I've done. Um, it's all um, stuck on there with double-sided sticky tape that is very strong. It's no no sign of coming off at all, and yeah, I'll just get the other way for you. As you can see, all the lines are very straight. Um, I cut all this with my angle grinder, with um, a guide, so that it wouldn't go crooked. As you can see, um, it's covering the DVD, the DVD drive bay, and the power supply is the black perspex sheet. Um, it was originally all square down there, obviously, so I've uh, dremeled out that down so it's on a nice curve. Um, oh, actually, this is 99% because I actually got a new radiator. This is actually just sitting um, on a radiator ma mount that I've done, so I have got a new radiator that should be coming from Frozen CPU soon that will fit in there um, nicely because uh, at, at the moment when I had it in, it wouldn't fit under these heat sinks as it doesn't now. It doesn't fit under the ring properly. So I got one that was 7mm short, uh, thinner. Because uh, this is 47mm rear at the moment from EK. And I've got a 40mm uh, Black Ice Extreme radiator, I think. So I'll just take you off this now and give you a look around. So I'm using distilled water with biocide in it and green mayhem dye. Um, yeah, there's a, a bit of a jungle in there, just all the cables. Um, a little bit of bunched up there, so that's, that's also good to have that perspex cover there because you can't see anything inside. Um, you can see through it, but it's nothing noticeable. I'm using the green Cooler Master Sickle Flow fans. Uh, they're eight in total because there is a hard drive in the top left of the radiator um, from this picture. Um, and yeah, I'll just take the top off for you um, and show you what that is all about. And at the end of the video, I'll do a slow of everything on the side, so you know, don't, don't, don't worry about that. Now, before you uh, ask any questions, yes, I am aware that I have scratched all the, the black paint off. And I will get around to fixing that, but at the moment it's not harming anything, and to be honest, I don't really give two shits about it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I ac ac accidentally put the, the sheet upside down, um, so it's supposed to be the other way, because the other way, the other side's not scratched at all. Um, but yeah, so two green corner sickle flows in the top, and we've got a hard drive there. And to be honest, I, it doesn't really do anything to do with um, temperatures at all. It's maybe like one degree difference, but hey, one degree difference is nothing, to be honest. Because when you think about it, where else am I supposed to put a three and a half inch drive when you do a case mod like this? I mean, there's no, there's no one there I can put it. I mean, I've just got my SSD just hanging in there, under there. And I'll also, um, when I get around to it, it's also not bothering me, is I'll change these blue lights um, to green LEDs. Um, so it's not blue because it doesn't really look nice in the, in the night time, but I don't really use it at night time unless I'm playing Call of Duty or Battlefield. Depends how I feel. Now I will just take the back panel off and I'll show you how it's looking. 
So as you can see, I've done a pretty good um, cable management job um, for what I've been left with. So all the motherboard, I mean, sorry, power supply cables come out here. I've dremeled out um, one of these sections, so one of these up here, so that there's more room for cables to come out. Um, all tied up around the back. You cannot see these from the other side. If you know, if you look, even if you look hard enough, you can't see anything. Comes down to a black extension because hey, you know, this is a green black thing. I don't want all this showing. Um, I will sell this power supply off, and I will get a probably an AX 850 um, and get the sleeved extensions. I mean, sorry, the yeah, the replacement extensions that you can get from Corsair now. Yeah, everything's routed around here. All the fans come down onto one um, and just stuck behind the air a bit. Yeah, so that is what the back looks like. Um, so I've, you know, I've painted both sides of the motherboard tray. Uh, I've done a pretty good job. Um, so what I've done is I've sanded it all down, put some primer on, three three coats of green paint, and then I put. I so said that was over a couple of days, and then at the end I put two coats of clear coat on um, to give it a gloss finish and also protect it from being scratched or anything like that. But yeah. So I'll just put it around the other, other side again and I'll let you know all my specs and everything like that. So check it out. And here we are back in front again. I'll just list all my specs for you guys. So we've got three green cool muscle sickle flows in the bottom. Um this fan this radio's been replaced, it's an EK um three sixty radio XT. <coughs> Sorry. Um Intel twenty six hundred K at four point eight gigahertz, um one point four five volts. Got the Z68 XP UD4 motherboard with 8GB of Mushkin uh, Ridgeback RAM uh, running at 888 24 1600 MHz. Got a Crossfire 6970s there with the EK water blocks on um, with the Crystal Link adapters. Um, I think it's probably 8 or 9 um, angled fitting, so I've got 45s, 30 degrees, and uh, 90s. Um, another thing. So if I just pop it off here for a second. In, in there. Oh shit. Um, <laughs> in here. Um, I'm replacing that with a crossway, the, the multi link adapter, and I'm putting uh, the, the crystal link tube in there. Um, so I reckon that'll look quite nice. And we've got the EK250 Advanced Reservoir with the, um, the EK in the bottom. It's a, it's a plate, the anti-swirling, anti-cyclone uh, plate because it's intaking and inlet, the inlet and outlet is both in the bottom. So it stops from swirling and, um, yes, and swishing and slopping and making noises potentially and, you know, all that, all that bad stuff. Um, so we've got sickle floats at the top, another EK radiator which is um, going to stay there. Um, and I've got a OCZ uh, 60 gigabyte Vertex 2 SSD. Um, I might I might replace that for an Intel um, one, probably a 80 gig. Um, just need a little bit more room because I have a few games on there, so they load a bit quicker, like Battlefield 3. Because you know, you know how bloody long it takes for Battlefield 3 to load on this. It's fucking ages. Um, I've got the EK High Flow HF, whatever you want to call it, the the block there. And I'm using 7 sixteenths inch tubing with half inch um, barbs, so there's no need for any um, clips that go around here, any cable ties. It's tied as a virgin, so nothing, no, no leaks or anything like that. You know, it's a bloody mission just to get them on. So I don't see how they can leak because they're pretty constricted around there. I'm also using the NZXT um, extension cables. And yeah, so now I'm just going to pop you off and give you a good look around, nice and slow, so you can take everything in. And yeah, leave me on the comments what you think about it. Uh, please like and this video. Um, and yeah, so stick around. Here comes the slow. Stick around. So with the old power supply hole, I've just put a Perspex um, backing on it that's screwed in with the old uh, mounts. So I've tapped the inside of the Perspex so it um, fits nice. Also cable tied back of there. 
so it's you know tighter than it usually is. Um, so I might this this is my desk as it is. You know my monitor's over there. Um, so I might turn it around. Um, so I don't have to see the back because I don't really like that. But you know it's okay. Because um, with the window where it is now, I can see inside a lot easier, which I like doing, you know, having a little perv on the computer. There's nothing wrong with that. And carrying on. So that this concludes the video. Um, I'm also in, in I am in New Zealand. I'm a New Zealander, Kiwi. So I've also posted a link that um, I can offer my modding services to anyone in New Zealand or any, any other country. It's up to you. It's, it's your decision. But um, I, I do mod cases, um, and if you want me to mod something, you know, I post a link and just um, email me or post in the forum that I have got the thread. And let me know if you want anything done. Um, you can also come and ask any ideas or opinions on what you've done, or any ideas you know that you might want to do yourself. And I can help you out and give you instructions on what to do and the easiest route of how you do it. Um, so thanks, guys. Thanks for looking at my video. Um, please comment and like. Um, you know, if you've got any questions, any little questions, you know, I, I, I will reply to every single one that comes by me. Um, and yeah, so enjoy. Um, I might see you soon with another modded case because I love modded cases, you know, it makes them unique. I might get the Switch 810, um, although it's pretty much already pretty, pretty, pretty perfect, the 810, the Switch 810. But yeah, thanks guys, I'll see you later.